So if your amygdala gets triggered in a work meeting and your body is flooded with all of those chemicals, you will go into your preferred method, fight, flight, or freeze in that meeting. Instead of being able to stay present, be like, okay, this is really unpleasant. I don't like it, but I need my full brain online to deal with the situation. Same thing in a fight with your loved one, with your partner. Your partner has done something that's made you very upset. You express it. They get defensive. They get angry. They begin to attack you. You get more and more upset. It feels like a survival threat. Your amygdala has gone nuts. Your amygdala has taken over your entire brain. You either shut down if you're a freezer and you can't do anything. You can't say anything. You just totally freeze. Or you fight, probably say things you regret later, or maybe do things you regret later, or maybe you flee and maybe you regret that later because your partner is very sensitive to when you run away. So when this amygdala hijack happens, it is taking over your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that does planning and risk assessment and looks into the future and can sort of logically go through decision making. That part of your brain might still be sort of working, but only in service to the amygdala. So if you are a fighter and you're a very articulate person, you might sound really, really rational during an amygdala hijack, but you might be so rational and pointed and with the sarcasm or the cutting remarks or the attacks, it's not conducive to a relationship, not conducive to a relationship with a loved one or with a boss, or with a coworker. And another part of our brain that is taken over by the amygdala is the part of our brain that feels compassion and connection to other people. So when we go into that survival mode, there's no sense of relationship, right? I will often say like a reptile has an amygdala type response. Reptiles are not warm and cuddly. They will do whatever they need to do to survive. So that's another reason that amygdala hijacks can be so damaging to our relationships.